Guys, make sure to stay until the end. We want to share one good advice with you. If you make that simple mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on parts and repairs, diagnostics that you may actually not even need. Make sure to stay until the end. We'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Chrysler 300 that generation here from year 2014 to year 2024. If you need to find where the fuse is for the USB, the one in the center console where you can find that fuse. Actually, it's two of them. We'll explain about that. Also, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can buy cheap parts and tools. That way you do not waste money and time. So let's start on it now. So guys, before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we guys do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the videos, that way we can keep making these free videos. We show you how to fix engines, transmission, bodywork, fuses, relays, all that stuff, guys. And if you need to buy cheap parts and tools at a good price, quick shipping, we'll put a link in the description of the video below. Guys, check out our YouTube channels. We have more than 50 15,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So guys, the USB in the center console fuses and relay, uh, fuses, excuse me, where you can expect to find them. You don't have relays, you have only fuses. You have multiple fuse boxes in that Chrysler 300. Today we're working just one that's in the trunk. Open the trunk. Uh, that's the trunk liner. Lift it up on the back side. Underneath you have the spare tire. This is the battery. Behind the battery you have a fuse box. This is a closer look. Here you have tabs that you squish, pull the cover out and underneath you have a layout like this one here. Before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. Guys, it's very important to always test your fuses and relays. Why? Sometimes you may think you have a good fuse, guys. It's hard to tell. Look at those fuses, right? And sometimes, okay, you pull the fuse. Okay, I'm going to get the fuse pour and I'm going to remove one fuse. I want to, I want to show you on that 20 amp fuse. Sometimes it's very unclear if that fuse is burned or not. You may not clearly see it. So always, guys, test them because if you don't test the fuse, you assume it's good, you end up spending money time and diagnostics for problems that do not exist guys so you can just waste your money and time always test your fuses always test relays we will put links in the description of the video below where you can find guys a video for testing a fuse and testing a relay that will explain everything that you need to do if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Ram, fuses, relays, at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time, we're going to put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out. So, here guys, you may have up to two fuses, you may have just one, it really depends on the model. But the first fuse that you need to check for the USB, it's a 20 amp fuse, and we're talking about fuse number 12. You see that fuse right here? The 20 amp fuse, that's the one that you need to check. Then you may have another one. And in that row here, that's fuse number 65, 66, 67, 68. If you have fuse 68, okay, here, check it as well, guys. But those are the two fuses that you need to check. So guys, that generation Chrysler 300 has all kinds of different size of fuses, guys. You can see different fuses, relays, uh, that's the engine fuse box, that's the trunk fuse box. Those could be really hard to find, some of them, guys. And if you're in the middle of nowhere, you need a replacement, you cannot get one, you may be stuck, guys. So we will recommend to buy some, put in the glove box uh, for peace of mind, keep some spare ones. Uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Hopefully the video was helpful, guys. Thank you for watching. See you next time.